Hey, this is Brian from New Relic here to answer a few more of your questions this week. The first question was about real user monitoring. With real user monitoring, we break down the requests in request queuing, web application time, network, DOM processing, and page rendering. To get a further explanation of each of these categories, just hover over this little question mark here, and we get more information about what each of these mean. Stay tuned for a blog post that goes into more detail about how this breaks down. The next question was about memory consumption on application servers. So we're in the app servers tab here, and we'll just scroll down, and we can actually see information about each host that's hosting this particular application, including AppDeck uh, app score, response time, throughput, CPU, and memory. My favorite way of viewing this actually is in graph form, so we can actually see how these change over time. For Java applications, we have a special JVMs tab, which shows the CPU and memory allocated to each JVM running this particular server. So we can see this across time, including garbage collection information. Our next question was about blocking a particular method from being instrumented in the Ruby agent. You know, we get a lot of questions about adding additional instrumentation, custom instrumentation, which we support in, in all the languages. But we also support the ability to block particular uh, methods from being instrumented. You may choose to stop instrumenting a particular method that's either way too fast or way too slow and it's kind of affecting your overall performance. We have a special method called New Relic Ignore. To ignore an entire controller, we can just add that new relic ignore. We can also specify which actions we want to ignore within that controller. To be a little bit more refined, we also have this new relic ignore app decks. So this will allow you to instrument those methods, but have it not calculated in your app deck score. So that's it. Three quick questions. If you'd like me to answer any of your questions next week, send us your question on Twitter with the hashtag quick. Thanks, and we'll see you again next week.